Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Legacy of the Void. Today I'm playing a live game versus none other than Kruxen right here. It's going to be the Terran player on the other side of the map. And he says, the Maga just 12 pool rushed me. I'm not sure. Or 12 pool Revenant rushed me. What do I do? Um, I'm actually really not too sure. Um, everyone, everyone either plays Banshee or Tank. We'll see, we'll see. Anyways, so today I'm gonna be playing this game at the same time as I'm also giving commentary to it, which is always a little bit difficult, because obviously I'm trying to do 16 things at once, uh, which is, generally speaking, not very good for a guy. Um, girls seem to be a little bit better at multitasking in general, but I'm gonna try my very best uh, to, to play the best game that I could. Did open up with a hatchery first right there, and uh, I'm following it up with a spawning pool. He said it hit before my factory finished the tech lab. Fast first factory. Hmm. Not sure. I haven't seen the game, so I'm really not sure what he should be doing. Uh, but yeah, there are definitely still some uh, some powerful Zerg timing attacks. But I've decided that in this one, I don't really want to be playing versus that. I might actually decide to play a bit aggressive with some roaches or something like that. But I don't want to go for the super early Ravager aggression, simply because it's not really something I'm enjoying too much recently. Uh, I am gonna go for a bunch of queens. Now, you may notice that I'm not actually making an overlord, and there's a good reason for that. Hatcheries now actually provide a whole bunch more supply than we used to. So there we go, I can still produce my two queens. Uh, without actually making a third overlord yet, which is a nice little addition in Legacy of the Fight. Um, now I'm thinking about maybe doing a bit of... Well, we can do a little bit of Ravager aggression, I suppose. A little bit of Ravager aggression. And now we'll switch into... Like, oh my god, Loco, 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 no. Loco, Loco, what are you thinking? Loco, what is this? Come on, Overlord, you can do it! Fly faster! Get there! Yeah! Oh, what? Oh, that was on top of the thingy! I was on top of- okay, whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna have to, like, make ravages against you too, man. My sincere apologies. But I really don't care. Alright, he's gonna scout the thing, actually. So maybe I should just go ahead and not do anything. Okay, he scouted my Roach Warren. And I'm gonna cancel the gas. Oh, man, we are meta gaming, and so he's thinking right now, Hey, this guy's also going for a Ravager rush. But lo and behold, I'm just gonna draw it up behind it and start tacking up. He will never suspect the thing. I don't think so, at least. I don't hope so, at least. Uh, gonna be starting up. Actually, we're gonna wait a little bit with this queen. Uh, make one more overlord right here and make a big round of um, big round of drones right here. So I should be able to make about ten or so. There we go. And now you guys go back to injecting. And in the meantime, you know, we're gonna figure out what he is up to. Now, I'm gonna go for a relatively quick third base right now. We saw that he already was making the natural, or at least it seemed like he was. Uh, pretty sure he did throw it down right around right now. And very soon, we will be able to start up a third base and start matching the economy that he has. So ideally, yeah, look at him. He already has workers ready for repairing. He's, he's terrified, even though nothing is happening. <laughs> I guess that's the effect of an early road one as well. I mean, you don't actually have to do anything with it. You can just play safe. You can just play safe. Although, I'm not feeling too, too safe right now, but... That's alright. I'm a little bit worried of, like, siege tank drops and things like... Oh, nope, it's a Benchy. Nothing too worrisome, actually. Uh, I was gonna say I'm a little bit scared of, like, siege tank drops, which are relatively common, but I can deal with this. Uh, gonna make another queen right here. Make sure I have uh, my gas is saturated as well. And let's start up. A couple of roaches just for defensive purposes in case he decides to go for some, um, you know, aggression. I'm saving up a little bit of energy right now. Should be alright. Okay. Third base is about to already finish up, which is nice. Okay, he walk over there. Okay, he didn't notice it? Really? Oh, that's nice of him. Alright. Uh, starting up my Roach Burrow, or my Roach Speed right now, and I'm also gonna be moving forward. Wow. Really? Alright, I'll take that. I mean, if you wanna give me a free Banshee, that's, <laughs> that's fine with me. So I'm really actually in a pride, quite a comfortable position at this point in the game. I mean, we're a little bit low on workers in the main, but nothing too crazy, actually. Nothing too crazy. Now, my minimap vision is awful, as you can see. I'm gonna start up my roach speed here, or my overload speed here as well, just to 
you know, start spreading some creep around and also get some vision because as it stands right now, it's just not good. I uh, do want to attack up to some relatively quick lurkers. Lurkers are like your go-to units right now if you want to be safe in, uh, in Zerg versus Terran. As you noticed, I did go for the missile upgrade in ZVT. Uh, it's something I've been messing around with a lot. Ultralisk are like nearly impossible to kill, I feel like, but it's, it's nice to be switching into different strategies every now and then as well. Got some Hydras incoming right now as well. And I'm gonna start pooping a creep everywhere on the map. Or at least where I feel like it's gonna be useful. Oh god. Okay. Glad I made a bunch of Hydras. Is there a Siege Tank drop? Oh, there is a Siege Tank drop. Okay. No. Don't quite have my... Um, my Lurkers yet. Lurker Dan is, is not even remotely done yet. Uh, I keep in mind, I actually just made a bunch of Zerklings right there, but Zerklings are not upgraded. Did I get Burrow? Oh, I forgot Burrow as well. Burrow is actually great. Well, I didn't really forget it, I just didn't think about it. Um, Burrow is great as well because you can Burrow, obviously, underneath all of that army that he has. And what happens is the Siege Tanks can be sniped off really, really easily. Although, to be fair, this works fine as well. How long does this thing take? Jeez, there we go, finally. It's always surprising to me whenever I make one, how long it actually takes. Like, it takes forever, it feels like, to uh, to finish up your Lurker then. Okay, gonna be starting up my Hydra speed, gonna be starting up plus one plus one, or plus two plus two, rather. There we go. A little bit of a scary moment right there, but I dealt with it reasonably well. I'm gonna odd hold key my Queens now as well. Once again, my overlord spread is awful. Spreading up all over the map. Plus two armor as well, obviously. And let's start up some more lurkers. Now, gotta keep in mind that lurkers do do a lot of damage, but siege tanks outrage them quite easily. Uh, so that's just something to uh, not forget about. If you are overextending, they will be able to get taken out with relative ease by your opponent. And I'm gonna start also transitioning towards a bigger army. Okay, he does have more siege tanks, but it's mainly actually... It's mainly actually, um... Bio. And Bio gets absolutely shredded to pieces with, uh... With lurkers. So, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay, although I'm not really... I don't have much vision on the map, like... I'm not really too secure about where he's at, and I don't really know how many bases he has. Looks like he's going over to take his fourth base right now. Now keep in mind, we can play even bases against this sort of strategy, as long as we deal some damage later on. Okay. Lurkers dealing damage! Okay. I'm gonna start adding on some roaches here too. The reason for that is that I can use the burrow strategy a little bit later, like I was talking about. Move the queen over a little bit, and I also want to start transitioning towards the hive. Okay, well maybe I can catch him off guard here. He's not paying attention, is he? Okay. Oh. Okay, that's plus two attack done. Got a lot more army incoming right now. Trying to actually slow down a little bit, but I don't want to wait too long either to give him an option, like a, a, a chance at the very least of like finishing up his own upgrades. Ideally, I don't get that, obviously. Kind of growth. Oh, we do see actually that the... Yeah, we do see that he has a missile turret right there for vision, so he will be able to figure out exactly where I'm located, but this is fine by me. I mean, if there's nothing, I will go. Okay, take out these things.
Trying to split up my army to the best of my ability so I can do a maximum amount of damage here. Did lose all of my other main army core units, I suppose, but I'm gonna start tacking up towards the hive a little bit late on that. But we can still do a pretty reasonable amount of damage here. Okay. And he says GG, so sweet! Nice little timing attack right there with Ravager, Roach, Que- No. Ravager, Roach, Hydralisk, Lurker. It's a bit of an interesting army composition, but hopefully you manage to catch a little bit of the dynamic right there. Basically what you're trying to do is zone out the Terran player uh, with the Lurkers and sort of like force him into engagements he doesn't really want to take. And then like the reinforcing units oftentimes actually end up surrounding his army. Uh, because you're already like sort of zoning away a part of it. So basically what went, what went on right here is that I had the Lurkers burrowed right here, forcing my opponent backwards into this area. My units were able to kill off the fort base, and then my reinforcement walked in in this way, and in this way. And it's just sort of like, it sets up a natural surround. So it's not just that Lurkers give you like a nice little bit of vision and that they like deal a ridiculous amount of damage, but they really allow you to like zone out a Terran player very efficiently when they are... Uh, being caught off guard by a massive army and they aren't like completely prepared by it. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this game. If you haven't already, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button as well. So you will be the very first one to get a notification when I upload another video. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!